Well, 2020 has been a challenging year for all, for all of us. Uh, it has certainly subverted our expectations. Australian Valiers Management Rights Team um, has been very busy um, in 2019, early 2020. Like, we had so many jobs coming in in January, February 2020, and then this trend came to a halt uh, in March, in early March 2020, because of coronavirus. And it uh, took some time for all industry participants to come to terms with the new reality. Because depending with whom you were talking to in the beginning of the year, agent, banker, broker, uh, people gave you different predictions about when the situation will uh, improve. Um, in the beginning, uh, a lot of agents were telling us that permanent businesses probably will sell with a premium because people will start buying permanent businesses because um, short-term businesses went off the market. And obviously everybody realized how great the situation is once the borders of Australia and then the state board borders shut down. Less properties came into the market because it's very understandable for many vendors uh, having high net in, let's say, 400,000, 500,000 uh, permanent businesses. In late 2019, early 2020, they would expect to sell their businesses in good locations, high net in, uh, for high five multiplier, maybe six times, maybe above. And in 2020, nobody would be willing to pay top shelf multipliers because, again, the market doesn't like uncertainty. As we always say, certain, certainty equals value. That's why a lot of vendors withdrew from the market because they were not prepared to reduce their asking price. But a lot of buyers were also very hesitant to pay the full multiplier for the properties based on the current economic conditions. Uh, this trend changing a little bit now because now the Queensland borders are open. So we have spoken to a lot of managers who uh, are cautiously optimistic about the current situation because everybody counts on the domestic market picking up. And then the hope is that the border between Australia and New Zealand will open and we will see more New Zealanders coming in and staying on the Gold Coast, on the Sunshine Coast. People uh, definitely become more cautious with their spending. And the main concern for us now is the time uh, at the end of this year, in September, when the stimulus will end. Because once the stimulus finishes, uh, we need to reassess the situation. Regarding the business multipliers, um, the situation in the last couple of months improved a bit. I would definitely say that the sentiment is cautiously optimistic, for, especially for the permanent market. The trend I can see in Brisbane is that uh, permanent businesses with no management unit, with no requirement uh, to reside on site, are still very popular, especially in the Asian market. The multipliers hasn't really suffered. Um, as compared to 2019, we still see quite high multipliers, 5.4, 5.6 times being paid for the businesses nating at about 200,000, which, um, yeah, which, which is probably at about the same level as it was in late 2019. On the Gold Coast, we have seen a few sales recently of townhouses complexes. Uh, they seem to be very popular in the, in the current market, in areas like Rabina, for example, Varsity Lakes. Um, the multipliers achieved for these um, properties are also reasonable. They around 5.2, 5.3 times for a permanent business netting 200, 250,000. Uh, and we have spoken to many agents on the Gold Coast and in Brisbane. We definitely seen an increase in quotes, an increase of phone calls and requests. So we cautiously optimistic going forward. And yeah, we would like to see the market booming again like it was before the current coronavirus crisis.